Hi, my name is Juan Antonio Banales, and I'm a uh, council member for the city of Pittsburgh and also a board member, board of directors uh, for MCE. The city of Pittsburgh has been a member of MCE uh, when we joined in 2017, uh, but our residents started receiving MCE service in early 2018. I like serving on the MCE board uh, because I get to work with a vast variety of directors uh, that uh, are my peers in other cities and counties throughout the Bay Area, uh, really with the goal of uh, offering competitive um, utility service or energy service um, by MCE to uh, our residents, uh, for me, would be the residents of Pittsburgh. MCE has a lot of benefits, but at the top of the list from what I have uh, heard in terms of feedback from Pittsburgh residents uh, are the uh, lower cost options such as light green. Uh, so they can be anywhere from two to 5% lower cost than PG&E. And at the end of the day, that's more money in our uh, residents' pockets, uh, which really helps uh, them out uh, with their uh, budgeting and finances. So MCE offers uh, choice and where traditionally uh, most cities um, have one choice, uh, which is an investor owned utility such as PG&E, uh, MCE really offers uh, competition in that space and uh, also offers local control. So our board of directors is comprised of um, elected members within the communities uh, that we serve. And so that's really important for a lot of residents, uh, especially when rates are being set, uh, to be able to reach out to their elected officials, which serve on the board of directors of MCE, uh, and voice their, voice their opinion um, uh, on the rates uh, as they're being set by MCE.